everybody, we're back. We're on unit three. Once again, this is our national income and price determination unit. We're using our ASAD model. Okay, it doesn't look quite like an ASAD model yet, but it will soon. Uh, to determine basically national income and prices in the economy. All right, so we're using our ASAD model. This is part six. What we're focusing on in this video is shifting the SRAS. What shifts the SRAS? Okay. Let's just go back and review very quickly what causes a movement along the SRAS first, okay? What causes us to move from one point on the SRAS to another point? That would be, of course, a change in the price level. So if I was to go from this point, I'll call that point A to point B, all right? Of course, the price level must have gone up. And when the price level goes up, what I've told you in other videos is revenues, okay, go up for businesses. When the prices up there, final goods and services go up, their revenues go up. And costs lag behind, okay? Their wages, specifically, that's a huge cost for businesses. It's sticky, okay? In the short run, they lag behind changes in the price level. So price level goes up, costs don't go up by as much. So now we have this ability to get some profits by producing more, and so that's what businesses will do. They will produce more, and we'll move from A to B. So once again, what causes this movement along the SRAS, i.e. what causes the SRAS to be upward sloping, is the stickiness of wages. This video, though, is focused on what shifts the SRAS. What shifts the SRAS is things other than the price level that cause the profitability of production to change. Well, what other than the price level would cause the profitability of production to change? And of course the answer is the cost of production. So that's the, that's the big thing to take away right now. If it's a change in the cost of production, then that is going to shift our SRAS. So we're looking at anything out there in the economy that changes our cost of production. So I'm going to go through a quick list, I'm going to go through five big things that change the cost of production. Now, I want you to understand something, okay? There's actually a ton of things that change the cost of production, but what we're going to focus on are things that are ubiquitous enough in our economy, i.e. things in our economy that affect almost every single producer in our economy. That's what we're going to be focused on. What are the things, what are the costs that like every business has to deal with. That's what we're mainly focused on. All right, What's, what are these costs that are so big they could actually shift the aggregate supply curve? And here comes the list, okay? Number one, the biggest one, okay? Once again, focusing on cost, all right? The biggest thing is nominal wages. There's nothing more important for you to know as far as what shifts the SRES curve than nominal wages. That's a ubiquitous cost. What I mean by that, every business has to pay wages. Every single business out there has to pay wages. So if we get a general rise in wages in our economy, hey, that's an increase in cost. And guess what? The SRAS will shift left. Super important. Let me say it again because it's so important. Wages, if wages go up in our economy. That's the cost of production going up. Wages are a cost of production. Wages is what we have to pay our laborers. And when the cost of production goes up, it becomes less profitable to produce, and so the SRAS curve is going to shift to the left. Next, what many books are going to say is commodity prices, okay? Commodities, there's a lot of them. It's like all kinds of minerals, agricultural goods. But the thing that I want you to focus on, the thing that is what, you know, what we'll focus on generally here is the commodities we use to produce energy, i.e. oil and gas. So that's what I want to boil this down to. Oil and gas. Every business just about has to pay an energy bill. And then we also have to transport products across our economy. So energy is incredibly important for the macro economy. So what we're looking at is energy prices, okay? So I'm gonna write energy prices, but once again, what, we, you know, what an AP test might talk about is something like oil and gas prices, okay? So oil and gas prices, when they change, look, every business, or not every business, but many businesses have to transport their goods, almost every business has to pay a utility bill. So if energy prices change in our economy, that's going to cause the SRES to, ch to change. So if oil and gas prices go up, cost of production goes up, becomes less profitable to produce, the SRES shifting left. Number three, okay, production technology, production 
technology. For the most part, technology only improves. For the most part, production technology only improves, okay? So for the most part, changes in production technology are going to be causing SRAs to go right because it only, production technology only improves. What are we talking about here, okay? Well, this could be high-speed internet services, okay? Or just PC and mainframe or servers or whatever, just the whole technology revolution, okay? Um, I'll probably see a little old school with some of my references. But just in general, when you start seeing, you know, our ability to do web-based things, okay, cloud computing, whatever it is, programming languages getting better, that's all of those type of things. When our technology improves in our economy, that's going to lower the cost of production and things that lower the cost of production get SRAS to increase, to shift right. We're going to get more production at every single price level, more production at every single price level when we get technological progress, okay? Number four, okay? Four is our regulatory environment, our regulatory environment. Think of our government, okay? Things that we could see on a test is something like indirect business taxes. So if business taxes change, yep, that's gonna shift the SRAS curve. Or they just might just say the regulatory environment or regulation of business increases or decreases. Think of a Republican coming into office. We might see the regulatory burden on businesses being decreased. If we see a Democrat coming into office, okay, because they're gonna be focused on whether it's environmental regulations or labor regulations or safety regulations, we can see the regulatory environment getting a little bit bigger, and so therefore the cost is going to increase, okay? So what's happening to the regulatory environment in our economy. Just one more time, if you see an increase in business regulations, an increase in business regulations, that's an increase in cost, and SRAS is shifting left because it's, because it's becoming less profitable to produce. And then the fifth one, okay, is inflationary expectations. Inflationary expectations. Now, truly, this one's very redundant with our first one, nominal wages, that super important one, okay? Because if you think about what's happening here when we have inflationary expectations, it's really that wages are going to change. In other words, if all of a sudden people think there's going to be more inflation in our economy, workers are going to agitate for higher wages, and when they agitate for higher wages, trying to keep their real wage the same, the nominal wages are going to go up. And when nominal wages go up, that's an increase in cost of production, SIR, SRAS shifting left. So there they are, that's it. It's a pretty simple list, okay? If you, there's only five things we really have to know that are gonna shift the SRAS curve. Nominal wages, energy prices, production technology, our regulatory environment, and then inflationary expectations. And remember, inflationary, inflationary expectations is really redundant with the first one, so it's kinda like we only need to know four things. Once again, if we expect inflation to go up, if our expectations about inflation increase, workers agitate for higher wages, and there you are, you're back at wages. Higher wages, SRAS left. Lower wages, if we think all of a sudden, if our expectations about inflation are gonna go down, we might not get as big an increase in wages, okay? Wages might not go up by as much, and therefore, we can get an overall shift to the right of the SRAS. Anyhow, I hope that helped. We'll see you in the next video.